In recent years, Chinese capital going overseas has been rapidly heating up, becoming a new overseas entrepreneurial windmouth and the second growth curve of enterprises. Data from the General Administration of Customs show that in 2022, China's total import and export value of 38.34 trillion yuan, exports 21.84 trillion yuan, of which cross-border e-commerce import and export total 2.11 trillion yuan, exports 1.55 trillion yuan, an increase of 11.7 percent. The traditional made in China is gradually transforming into made in China, and the labor-intensive products popular in the last era are being iterated into online games, social software, live apps, smartphones, new energy vehicles, innovative medicines, SaaS services and other products with high value-added and high premium. Products with high value-added and high premiums. In some segments, they have even begun to replace the traditional giants in Europe and the United States. The top four trading partners in China's import and export merchandise transactions from January to November 2022 were ASEAN, the European Union, EU, the United States, US, and South Korea, in that order. In terms of scope, the overseas market is gradually expanding from near to far. For most of the overseas enterprises, Europe and the United States are still the mainstream markets. From the traditional Southeast Asian market, to the mature North American, European and Australian markets, to the emerging South America and the Middle East, we can see the figure of Chinese overseas enterprises. Made in China is a good choice in terms of quality and value for money, so what products can importers and exporters import from China? According to Fortune Fortune's 2023 inventory of Chinese exporters to watch, Pan Entertainment, e-commerce, enterprise services, healthcare, new manufacturing, smart hardware, automotive and auto tech are the seven current hot tracks for going overseas. 1. E-commerce and retail ecology. China has the most complete foreign trade supply chain system in the world, especially in products such as apparel, 3C, daily necessities, etc. China's supply chain advantage can be converted into the price advantage of e-commerce platforms. With the success of SHIN and Temu, the overseas version of Pinduoduo, in the US and European e-commerce markets, it has opened the door for Chinese manufacturing to enter the European and American markets. 2. New Manufacturing Industry Under the global environment of advocating green new energy, new energy vehicles and power batteries are a market with huge demand. Photovoltaic, electric vehicles, lithium batteries are known as China's foreign trade exports of the new three boards, covering high-end manufacturing, new materials, green manufacturing, and other tracks. In the field of photovoltaic, China's leading photovoltaic Longi stock 2022 overseas camp accounted for nearly 40%. In the field of wind power, Mingyang Intelligent Energy 2022 overseas market revenue reached 1.254 billion yuan, an increase of 628.07%. In the field of intelligent robots, Hydratron Innovation is the world's first box-type storage robot products, overseas business accounted for 30%, with more than 1,500 global patents. 3. Hardware Manufacturing in the field of smartphones going overseas, Millet, transmitting, Oppo, Vivo outstanding performance, Millet for many years to become the sales champion of the Indian market, in the global market was once second only to Samsung and Apple. From the perspective of global cell phone market share, Chinese manufacturers have a greater advantage in emerging markets such as Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Africa and Latin America. Anchor Innovation, which started as a charging product, has long been a major player in the overseas market, with revenue of 3.233 billion yuan in the first quarter of 2023 in the overseas market. The three major sub-brands of Nebula, Eufy and Soundcore correspond to the three types of products, namely, projectors, home smart hardware and smart audio. Shadowstone Innovation occupies a leading position in the field of panoramic cameras, with revenues of more than 2 billion yuan in 2022 and an overseas sales ratio of nearly 70%. With the stabilization of the global epidemic and the gradual liberalization of policies, the tourism industry will gradually recover, which will also bring about the development of outdoor products, outdoor clothing, transportation, catering, beauty products and other related product industries. China has some of the best trade opportunities, have you found any products you can get involved with? 
Feel free to leave a message for us in the comments section. Don't forget to follow my channel and see you in the next video.